the front cover is what he was alluding to, that right here, just north of the motel, the waves would crash against the road. And the only, re the only reason the road was being still there at the time was because we had poured in some like something like 10, 10 to 20 tons, tw 10 to 20,000 tons of rock um, that spanned almost a quarter of a mile. So, um, small amount of rock. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're like the size of your car, some of them. Yeah. So, um, it's huge, and they had to continue for almost 20 years, I think, continue to put rock there because the pounding of the of the waves would erode the rock and um, it would it would expose parts of the road and then they would have to come and repair it. So this this project was um, the main point of this project was to get the road as as Sean mentioned to get the road what do you call yourself Sean or Sure. Yep, no, or no, 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 Sorry, uh, to get it realigned to the east to avoid that issue um, and, and to make the road sustainable for the next 75 to 100 years. Um, that, that was our goal. Um, it also included um, seawater rise. And so there is some calculations for making sure the bridges at least, because that's the most expensive part of our road, that those were, were gonna be um, protected for the next 75 to 100 years, even with given sea level rise. Um, so, I'm Je my name's Jennifer, as I mentioned. I'm a biologist for Caltrans. I've been working for Caltrans for over 10 years. And from the day I walked in the, <laughs> the door, <laughs> this is my project. I, um, the biologist who had this project before is, is an excellent biologist. And he did all of the botanical surveys and all of the um, uh, wildlife surveys for this project. And it's a it is an amazing location and it might not seem like much right now because it's so dry and it's that it's at that right at the beginning of the winter but this if you come back up in the spring the wildflowers are amazing up here and the native um plant life is is Epic. considered yeah considered the some of the best grassland and coastal prairie in california so it is really in good condition. Hearst has done, because they, as, as Sean mentioned, they have so many different ways to make money off of the land and they tend to graze their properties in a more sustainable way. Um, and so they don't, they tend not to overgraze. They take pretty good care of their land, which it sh clearly shows. Um, there's an unbelievable amount of native presence here in terms of botanical resources that most grasslands, native grasslands in California, especially along the coast, don't have anymore. So it's really a prized possession. So this project came with a lot of unique challenges in that way. Um, we have seven endangered species on this project, and then we have probably another 15 or so more um, species of special concern or um, plant life that needs special attention. Um, I don't think the pictures show California red-legged frogs, on there on this particular presentation but the California red-legged frog is ubiquitous in this area and they're in almost every single drainage if there's a little pool they're using it um, and we have <laughs> elephant seals as you guys saw when you came through here and those are also a protected species under the Marine Mammal Protection Act as well as um, they're fully protected as well um, partly, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Interesting. I would go home to my boy, my <laughs> young boys, and be like elephant seals. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they really were a challenge. Partly because they're just enormous, um, and then they're full of hormones. <laughs> <laughs> so the combination of the two um, made it really challenging to keep them away from the project sites um, and the construction activity. And um, some of those pictures will show our one of our biggest challenges was removing the old culverts and because as you guys drove over back there you, you drove over two bridges and then we have a third bridge that you guys haven't driven over yet.